Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marcus from Ruho Boots. So I've reviewed a couple pair of Ruho boots in the past, and I really liked them. If you haven't seen those, I'll put one of the videos right here. It's a company based out of Dallas, and I'm a big fan. I think they're putting out a really quality boot at a very reasonable price, and I'm anxious to check these out. So if you're new to the channel, let me tell you how this video is going to work. I'm going to do a quick unboxing. We're going to go over all the features, all the ins and outs of the boot. Then I'm going to try them on, give you my initial thoughts on the comfort. Then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about them. And I'm going to grade them on a scale from one to five in five different categories, which are interior, exterior, comfort, durability, and price. Then I give a bonus point for the intoxicating leather smell, bringing the grand total to a possible 26 points. Now with all that out of the way, what do you say we check these out? Okay, so right out of the box, the leather smell is totally taking over the room. It smells fantastic. I picked these up in the brown. They are available in black as well. It's a really nice chocolate brown. It's got a medium round toe. This is a lizard skin boot, which I know a lot of people are worried about the durability of lizard skin boots, but I've had them in the past. As long as you condition them every once in a while, I've never really had a problem. Other people have had problems, you know, so I guess that's just personal experience, but it doesn't scare me in the least. Like I said, it's got a nice medium round toe. It's got a stacked leather heel, cowboy walking heel. On the bottom, it's kind of hard to tell because of the stain, but it's got brass nails and lemonwood pegs. Very nice boot. I love the finish on the sole in the waist and also the heel. If you can see that, it's almost hard to even tell it's stacked leather because they finish it out so smooth and stain it so well. It's got their logo stamped here on the sole as well as the heel cap. So another thing I like about this boot is it's lizard skin, but it's a one piece vamp. It's not pieced together in three pieces like you see on a lot of others. The counter, however, is pieced together with three pieces. It's got a calf skin upper with a nice cording pattern on it. And it's got lizard skin overlays on the pull tabs. It's got a very smooth leather lining on the shaft with the hidden seams as well. Very nice touch. These go on super easy because that leather is so smooth and slick. The insole is what they call their Cloudwalk technology. It's a thin layer of memory foam covered completely with leather. It's very comfortable in my experience. But we'll talk about that more when I try them on. It's got a very sturdy heel counter. It's a thick piece of leather in there. So that's really going to mold to your foot and it's going to hold up over time. I'm just a big fan. I think these are very nice boots for the price. They're coming in at $315. It's a really good price for an authentic lizard skin boot. Okay, now with all that out of the way, what do you say we try these on? There's a bird's eye shot for you. They look good. Okay, so right out of the box, they feel great. They're snug, feel nice across the top of the foot. Got a good amount of heel slip, just the right amount. Not gonna cause a blister, but it's gonna form to my foot over time. And that Cloudwalk Technology insole is really comfortable. It's one of the more comfortable ones that I've felt of that type where it's foam with leather on top. It may be the best feeling one that I've tried. It's just really nice and comfortable. I think they look great all the way around. A lot of times I'm a little iffy on medium round toes, but these look and feel really good. I'm impressed. Okay, so let's grade these things. On the interior, I'm giving it a five. Super soft lining, it's leather lined throughout. And that insole is really comfortable. It's leather over foam, which is really nice. I just don't think you could ask for more on the interior of a boot. On the exterior, I'm giving it a four, and I'll tell you why. I wish that the counter wasn't pieced together. I wish it matched the vamp, which is one piece. It just would have been a nice touch. And also, one thing that I've decided recently is, while it is very nice to have a super soft top on a boot like this, it's very comfortable. 
they tend to sag. I prefer the older style stiff uppers on a boot. That's just personal preference. You may disagree and that's fine. It's just what I like. But other than that, it's fantastic. For comfort, I'm giving it a five. That Cloudwalk technology insole is super comfortable. It's a nice fit. It fits me really well. I can see wearing this all day and not having any issues with comfort at all. For durability, I'm gonna give it a four. And that's only because this is more of, you know, what you would call maybe a dress boot or a casual boot. It's not something you're gonna go wanna work in the yard in. I think it'll hold up fine over time as long as you don't abuse them. Keep them conditioned regularly. I've never had a problem with Lizard. I know a lot of you have, but personally, I don't see it being a problem. I'm giving it a four just because it's not a super tough workhorse type of boot. And for price, I'm giving it a five. Coming in at $315, that is a fantastic value, especially given the quality of the boot. I just think it's awesome. I love what Ruho is doing. I'm a big fan. I love their boots. They're just fantastic. And it definitely gets the bonus point for the intoxicating leather smell. When I opened up the box, the room instantly smelled like leather. It's my favorite smell in the world. I know a lot of you feel the same way. It's just fantastic. So that brings us to a grand total of 24 points, which is a fantastic score. I really recommend this boot. If you're looking for a lizard boot, I think you can't go wrong with this one, especially given the price. You're going to love it for years to come. So that's what I have for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the link to my merch down below. You might find something you like. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.